used it in some pieces of artwork. So it's always kind of fun to reuse stuff like that in mixed media projects. Ooh, fun. You know, let me get out a little piece of paper and I'm going to get out the pad that came last month and we'll test out some of the stuff right now. Let's see what we got. This one is the Copic Multiliner. Isn't that pretty? Lavender. Permanent ink. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. <gasps> Ooh, a new pencil. Oh, a Graph Gear. This is my favorite kind of pencil. Graph Gear 800. The nice little eraser, which I bought a ton of extras for so that it, they'll fit in. Cause I, that's really the only pencil I use is the Graph Gear, which I love. A new water brush. Oh my god, yay. Look at that nice new water brush. You want to see my water brush and how pathetic it is? Where is it? Let me see. It's, uh, I just actually ended up, I was just using it, and eh, look at the condition that's in. Isn't that awful? So look at this nice new one. Yay, look at that. Nice and brand new and not all gross and dingy and yucky, but I mean, they come in handy. They spread the ink, and I love them, so I guess I get a lot of use out of them, so it's kind of nice always getting a new one. Yippee ki yay. And what's this one? Ooh, a Winsor Newton watercolor marker. Looks like it's in like a reddish color. So let's see. Let's open these bad boys up. It says the Copic Lavender Multiliner sells for $3.99. So let's test this one out. I use it on a little, a little notepad right here. Put that up there. Let's see. What can we... Oh, that's kind of nice. Right? Smooth. Very fine tip. That mean, would be nice in a, a black to use as a, a liner. Because right now I'm using one of those um, carbon pens, the ink ones. The um, They're like uh, made of metal. And if those run out of metal, they scratch your paper. And it's a horror show. So I kind of like that. I wonder, I'll have to look and see if they sell those in black. Let's open this bullet tip. The Windsor Newton watercolor marker. What does it say on this? Um, oh, $5.99 retail. It'll amaze you with your highly it's highly pigmented, light, fast color, and stunning precision. Hmm, well. Oh, that's a nice color. Ooh, I like that color. Let's see this. So that's the bullet tip, and then this is oh, they have a brush tip. Look at that. That's nice. So it's a watercolor. Let's see. Let's get out the ugly old this guy and see what it does. Oh, look at that. That spreads nice. Right now all I use for watercolor markers is my Tombows. And I love them. And, uh, but they've, they're running on their last legs. And I was thinking maybe I wanted to ask Santa for another watercolor marker for Christmas. So maybe Santa hubby will come through. Wouldn't that be nice? And then, oh, look at this graph gear. So this is a 800. Uh, oh, and these little nubs, see these little nubs right here? They're like grippers, which is fabulous because they're not slippery. Oh, it's nice the way it writes. It's a nice weight, too. It's not too heavy. It's not too, like, paper light, which never feels very good. So I like that. I like that a lot. Cool. And then the water, the water brush, which I'm not going to bore you with because you just saw me use a water brush up there, and it's basically the same thing, the medium tip, which is fabulous. So let's see, that is, let's see how much this whole thing costs. So I spend 20 bucks a month on the subscription for this. The watercolor marker is six. The Copic marker is four, so ten. Oh, you know how much this costs? It says it retails for $7.50. That's a pretty good deal. So I got like almost 18 bucks so far. And then this, guess how much they are they're telling me this costs. Do you see that right there? $9.99. So 10 bucks. So right there. I only pay 20 bucks a month, and I am far exceeding that with the items that came in this month's box. And let us not forget that it also came with bubblegum because who the hell doesn't want bubblegum? 